Hi, we're going to make a very simple bow with our bow dabra, and we're going to get right to it. This is the bow dabra, this is the wand, and you'll see how we use the wand. Y'all, it couldn't get much easier. Super simple. So let's start out with our bow dabra wire, which is um, fabulous. You want to pull a length of your wire, double it, preferably, push it down through the two center openings, pull it around the end, and snip that off. Okay, let's get started. Now, I am using a dollar store ribbon just to show you how this is done. It's two-sided, and it's wired. We prefer wired. So the first thing you're going to do is you're simply going to push your ribbon down through the center of the bow dabra. Now, how far and how long depends on the kind of bow you're making, how long you want your tails, things like that. I'm just going to make a very, very simple bow just to demonstrate the bow dabra. This is, in my opinion, the easiest, most simple way to make a bow. So let's keep going. So we have just pulled it down through the center, kind of pinch it together. And since I want to make the tails first for this bow, I am going to make both sides about the same. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this part off. So that's going to be our tail. Now let's decide. This is a fall ribbon <clears throat> that comes from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go ahead and come back in the center again. Now we're going to go back and forth. Now if this was not a two-sided ribbon, you would want to twist your ribbon right here to turn it over so that the top side would be up top but this is a two-sided ribbon which means that you can simply form a loop you're just going to make your loop pinch it in the middle the bow dabra basically gives you an extra set of hands i didn't <laughs> i did not cut my ribbon off of the spool before i started so i kind of have ribbon everywhere so you're just going to make your loops, make your loops. This is another tail. I like to kind of make sure that I have both sides about the same. And we'll just come back through here with the next loop. Just fold it over, poke it down in the center. Now here's where, here's where the the wand comes in if you want to tight, tighten your bow up really good in the center you can do that fold it back through and you just keep going back and forth back and forth making your loops I like to make each loop a little bitty bit smaller than the one before it now, like I said, this ribbon came from the dollar store, so it's actually kind of a small roll. It doesn't have much on it, so this is not going to be a very big bow. But you can see how handy the bow dabra is. It just gives you an extra set of hands. I like to kind of fool with mine while I'm doing it <laughs> and make my bow look as pretty as I can. So I have three loops on that side, three loops on this side. I don't really have enough to make two more loops. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to make a small one for the center of the bow. Just one. And I'm going to pull this around and use it to make another tail. How about that? We can always cut the tails off, right? So you want to use your wand. Kind of scrunch it down so it's nice and tight in the center. And now we're going to put 
pull our bow dabber wire out, I created a loop on one end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the other part of the bow dabber wire through that loop, pull it tight, and that saves my bow shape. I just pull it nice and tight, and that's how you use your bow dabber. After you pull it out, you want to turn it around and kind of tie a couple of good knots in your wire so it'll stay secure. Just a couple of knots is fine. Okay. Now, depending on what you're going to do with your bow, that determines how much you want to cut off of here. I might tie this to a wreath, so I'm going to leave a nice big. So the only thing you have left to do is shape your bow. And this is a small one. So we're just going to pull our loops and fluff them a little bit so they're nice and fluffy. This is a really pretty fall plaid color ribbon. I like it a lot, don't you? So we're just going to fluff it out. Now we need to cut the tails. So we, I like to dovetail. And now I have three tails, which is pretty cool. So in order to dovetail, you want to fold the end in half and cut away from yourself and you have a little dovetail. It just gives it sort of a professional look. Nice and neat for the end of your bow tails. We actually have four bow tails because I did that last. Now when I when I actually use this bow, if I don't need four tails, I'll just cut one off. But there you have it. How easy is that? And that's why I love my Bow Dabra, y'all. It really just gives you an extra set of hands for making pretty bows. And you can make a ton of different bows, all different sizes and shapes and purposes, and decorate a gift wrapping. You can make um, bows for wreaths, Christmas tree bows. Just There's just a ton of things you can do with the Bow Dabra.